Hey there everyone, this is Raukao, and I don't know if you heard about this, but there are certain qualities that you can apply to my abilities in manipulating a digitized avatar in an interactive digital form. It's pretty weird. Safe bridge in Korean used to be OK bridge. I kind of like the clunkiness of OK, but whatever, man, it's a bridge. Oh, no, it's undergoing <coughs> repairs. Well, that's just dandy. On the map screen, it looked fairly effective, so I don't see why we need to change how the world works. Right, cat guy to cat guy, you could get those lives, but probably could if you wanted to. Did some pretty quality uh, corner acting there on par with the ropes, I have to say. This is a pretty weird level, by the way. Let's go ahead and get the cigarette. It's a pretty weird level because, you know, it's a level, so also it's pretty odd. Also, it kind of hypnotizes you with. I'm just kind of saying hello to us and being slightly glitchy about the rest of existence. But can they truly be blamed for being what they were programmed to be? My answer to that is I am moving on my own and I don't need your help because I'm moving on my own. It's the top secret area. Basically, you've got a whole like million literally amounts of pipes and no, the, by which I mean four and they all lead to basically the same place. It basically leads to this little Carnegie Hall and you can have a Yoshi of any color as early as World 2 in a secret exit that isn't even well hidden. It's pretty great. Please not cross the bridge, otherwise the bird is gonna go at the other side and go like ka tweet ka tweet and everyone's going to be just so confused and possibly full of aspartame, which is not a state you want to be in, surprisingly enough. Oh man, way to go, did it translate the line art? <laughs> Oh man, these little dents in the ropes are dangerous because they can make you drop and fall, such as the halves of ropes here and logs. It's a. Uh, well, you know, the bridge is under repair. You need to understand that when something is under repair, it's because it's a little broken and stuff, right? Cat guy thing guy, I'm pretty sure you're a guy officially in this game. It's kinda hard to claim otherwise. Hey there, midpoint. You're so wacky! Hey there, star! You are also wacky. You can't get the moons, though, as far as I know. I think they are literally ungottable. That just makes me so sad. Oh man, a blocks thing! Please think carefully before pressing any switches. Okay! I love being careful. Oh jeez, right when my star ran out. It's pretty wait. I'm pretty sure you need to have Yeah, you need the thing here to be able to go in the pipe, so No, it might tell you to be careful, but you kinda don't have a choice either, and suddenly you know we're in the northern Everglades. See Everglades up north you can tell because everything is made of ice. It's pretty great, right? Springboard. Yeah, you're pretty okay. Oh no, here it spells out fake. Oh no, a Kaizo trap before Kaizo Mario, I'm pretty sure. Or at the very least, their close brother in laws. Don't even press that switch. You need to press Yoshi's back though, because otherwise, he might let out a burp and gross out the whole family. That's not something we can tolerate now, can we? He's already pretty weird with his green skin and half-closed eye and we're on a bridge made of ropes come across the sky and the planet is so happy and it's swimming inside it's swimming i don't know why because the water's over there guy you're in the grass metanki park which hasn't changed name but i guess it means a thing i got powered up those piranhas are a danger don't inflame or eat them 
It'd be best to do to do the call quickly, but don't you dare. Got it? That's okay, wait. Don't inflame or... I'm assuming they mean that they are, like, in the danger of being, um, you know, like, extinguished. To do the goal quickly, but don't you dare? That looks kind of self-contradicting. Is it just me, or is it someone possibly ran out of text things? Well, anyways, apparently them Koopas are the wardens of this garden. And if they don't want me to harm any of the piranha plants that are now cats, so be it. Koopas, though, are a completely different creature. Because they are not feline and they don't reside in roots. Hooray! That Yoshi was totally extinguishable. See, I had to do this in order to remove my ability to throw fires from my hands involuntarily every time I tried to pick up speed for running. It's pretty weird. Boone's biology makes a lot of sense for most people who enjoy making a lot of sense out of their geography book. It just so happens to be my case. It's pretty great, right, Mamatanki Park? You are you, I am me. You are also a buffalo. It's pretty weird how that works out, because you certainly don't look like one. This is one of the fun parts of the level, because you gotta make a tower, and then you go like, Oh man, I'm going up a tower, and you gotta find the coins, and then that guy's all like, Hi, how's it going? I'm like, I don't want to speak with you. Uh, jeez, where? Where's the land... Where's the landmasses are? What? Where's the coin things? What's going on here? There's one here. So, did they just like stop doing them in the middle at some point? I guess I had forgotten about that. I l super love this place. It looks kind of simple, but it's actually kind of really well designed, except for the fact that fireballs stop being an actual issue fairly early on in the thing. But you know details, right? If it weren't for details, we wouldn't have mass... Well, it's not really graves, but living quarter areas for cats, I guess. The true hallmark of nature. See, here we got, like, rainbow kitties. It's like, oh man, you gotta dodge the bullet patterns. I'm playing one of those video games that involves large quantities of sprite action. It's pretty weird. I guess that's the thing you can do. I'm actually not sure. Probably just killed myself somehow. Right, cat guys. Now in plural form. Oh man, a power up and I can lose immediately. Except I didn't lose it immediately. I am ashamed. Run through without stopping. Okay, my tanky backwards is Contama or testicles. It's the name of the flying piranha plant. That's... that's great? Really? Um... That's... that's something I really needed to know. Like, is that really like the name of the... of the flying piranha plants as per decreed by Nintendo? Or... Man, I... I don't know, man. That's that's getting kind of a little strange, perhaps. And it just so happens that this level here is giving us ample opportunity to kind of think about this and also probably worry a little bit because I don't like where this has a potential of going. Although, you know, I can't stay mad at something that is feline and white and relatively shapeless. Hey there, words on parade, I got a bonus game! It says VIP on the star, I just noticed. Hey there, VIP star. I'm pretty sure I know this, quote unquote, every single time I play this game. I keep forgetting again and again, because remembering things is just too hard. Might as well go ahead and finish World 2 at Wendy's Mansion. Now, if you've got 
the cape, you can easily break this. Oh no, what kind of started? <laughs> what? Well, someone wants to get out. Well, okay, actually, I could kind of like basically. Um, what happens? Like, I don't know. You can uh, like skip the whole level by flying above the level, and the uh, pipe at the end here. Like, if you go through it, whenever we reach it, then the pipe here leads you basically way directly to the boss. So if the level is too hard. I might take that path or something, but then let's give it an honest try, because we're afraid and I'm kinda confused as to whom is speaking. It's pretty great. This is a castle that's not a particularly good one, because it's gotta build bridges, it's pretty, it's pretty fantastic, let me tell you that. So you go here, then you build this bridge here, and you're like, oh man, oh, well, now I'm not gonna get it, that's pretty great. And you can't go there, because you can't go there, because you can't go there, because you can't dream. This is a no dream zone, you see? It says so in Kirby's Deconomy, my favorite religious pastime somehow. You here you gotta build a bridge, and then you know, after you build two bridges, you get to be at the midpoint. Wow, that is an exciting level clam. Let me tell you that using religious overtones, some reason why not. Also, you don't really need to do the bridge if you don't want to, but it's kind of necessary. I think some of these kill you, and this key here that you see is actually a trap. There is no keys. There's a... well, that might not be true. There's a key here, but you won't be able to get it to the... Wow, I'm pretty good. The keyhole. Oh man, spoilers, I know, but I know by the experience of watching other people that getting the key anywhere and like getting it fairly far in this little action packed adventure land is pretty difficult. So let's save up on Dishwasher where we can. This is actually probably the game's first legit, you know interestingly difficult challenge area mostly because wow that's kind of meanish when you think about it when you got to Koopa hop while being pushed by the edge of the screen but you're always guaranteed to have at least one hit and you know you know what they say about guaranteed hits you can watch them on the radio if you want to so that was, was a pretty skillful may with some pretty skillful mayonnaise there. Cow, cow, good. Oh man, I got a key. It was totally like oh, on purpose. Everything up to this day and age was entirely on purpose. Everything that has transpired in history up until now was entirely by my design and on purpose. Not sure how you get over that. Well, I suppose you're supposed to like jump over a guy, maybe? Whoa, I should be careful and maybe not hang around at like the back edge all the time. At the same time, it's kind of one of the safer spots, so... You know, hey, I've died here at some point. Yeah, see here? It's a lot easier if you're ahead of the curve rather than behind the curve. Oh man, those curve. Oh man, those really scary Roto Mono jumps. That's not words. This part is secretly kind of panicky because it's like water, but it doesn't look like water. It's just like blue Atari graphics. And also, we got glitch saws here that may or may not be saws, but they make you know the mating call of the saws. So, a, a, a very specifically designed anthropologist would be able to tell you what's going on, but very little other people else. See, it's segments that are silly like this that makes bringing a key over kind of silly, Bob. And possibly silly Ted, too, but I'm mostly concerned with the bob myself. Right, old man Grandpa Johnson just having winged ears and falling in holes all the time. At least the holes were filled with happy juice and lava bread. So otherwise, man, you'd be in for a sauerkraut, let me tell you that. Right, death of everything in the world ever? How does it go today to be, you know, a part of the vernacular of the oppressed? 
I'm not sure what that means. Hey there, box! <laughs> what? I said get me out of here to the- Oh, wife, is it the key that's speaking, or what? Uh, also, I was told in the past that this text box actually made fun of you for bringing the key over. If that's the case, it's very indirect about it. Wow, is it just me, or... I don't have a lot of time on my hand here for a pretty rough housing gimmick Wendy fight. Cause yeah, um, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a lot of lava underneath Wendy. Because you know, even though falling in lava kills her ultimately. Well, oh no! It's, this is actually harder with the cape. <laughs> Let's go down this road just to show what up with it. All collectively. Dang it! I knew something like that would happen. Or maybe here. Well, no, yeah, that's exactly what I said. I forgot how hilariously boring this run is. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Some fine quality level design in this year part. Oh man, the VIP's pretty much the, the best video game hack ever. <laughs> Lukewarm times. Oh, whoops! Did I meant to do that? Obviously not! Darn gosh it. Oh, Set pipe, I guess, if you manage to get hurt here. Fair enough, and kind of considerate considering this game. And I think, yeah, that leads you straight to a new. With a bullet generator, too, just so you don't miss out. The difference is that you get a significantly higher amount of. I find this really hard with the cape, so I guess I'm just gonna not pick it up. Ah! By the bullet. So, yeah, not picking that up. For one simple reason. When you land on Wendy, you need to have the jump button held so that you can bounce up and touch the fence. The problem, if you try to do this with the cape, is that you're gonna do a slow descent, which makes it significantly harder because, you know, unless basically what you need to do is not hold jump, but then hold jump just before you land with the cape. In essence, what this means is that with the cape, you need to actually use effort, while without the cape, it's significantly easier because you just kind of jump, you know, and it's, it's a lot simpler. And the explosion doesn't say boom. Oh man, this is not a complete translation. What is going on? Oh man, thank you for a moment. For a moment was the question. And when Wendy Mario, who floored the Koopa Kid Wendy, floored his emphasis for some reason, struck the cast with his homemade blasting powder, and it struck over there, it seemed like the gate had been broken open. 
Oh, the gate wasn't unlocked, it was busted out by the pressure of the explosion. And so is the bridge that kind of erupted out of nowhere. There's a path over to the star, except it doesn't actually exist as a path yet. How mysterious. This is Val Cowbling, VIP 1 and Finishing World 2. Enjoy me next time when we play a game. Probably the same one, probably not in World 2. But don't, you know, put me on trial to that just yet. We just never know.